Welcome to Elf Covering. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. It is a major issue now inside of Venezuela and something that could no doubt embrawl in a war itself. Our good friend uh, over at uh, already-happen.com um, has uh, posted this video footage right here that you're going to see here just momentarily here. This is uh, Venezuelan uh, military tanks, howitzers uh, that are moving towards the border with Colombia. And uh, uh, it looks like uh, Maduro is not, Nicolas Maduro, the president of Venezuela, is not going to be taking any chances whatsoever, especially after pretty much all of NATO is starting to back the United States' move to topple him out of power and put in their own uh, puppet government inside the country. And in fact, we're already seeing that one... Uh, um, Juan, Juan Guado is already declaring that he is the new president of Venezuela without even any type of referendum. There's no no vote been ha that has happened in Venezuela. And in fact, it's been years uh, that Venezuela has been on the topple list uh, to be toppled as a as a nation. Um, you know, uh, oh God, there's there's right there. That is uh, Juan Guado right there. Uh, the picture there. He's there standing there declaring himself, swearing himself in. Imagine that, swearing himself in. Uh, yeah, he does have a lot of people supporting him, but you have to understand why are the people supporting him to begin with? Well, the United States has led a revolution to topple this nation uh, uh, economically for years now. Years they've been working on. Back in 2014, for example, here on Mint Press uh, News, says in 2014, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia f uh, flooded the market with cheap oil. This is not a mere business decision, but a calculated move coordinated with the U.S. and Israeli uh, foreign policy goals, despite not just losing money, but even falling deep into debt, the Saudi monarchy continues to expand its oil production apparatus. The result has been driving the price of oil down from 110 a barrel to $28 in the early months of this year. Um, that's 2014, that is. The goal is to, uh, to weaken these opponents of Wall Street, London, and Tel Aviv, whose economies are centered around oil and natural gas exports. That might explain, too, why in Israel, uh, the Israeli government, uh, also being helped by the Chinese, building the pipeline, the U.S. Uh, US and uh, Israel building this pipeline, already putting it in, even though Russia and Turkey had been building their own pipeline, uh, the whole war for the Middle East, the Silk Road, the toppling of Iraq, Iran, Syria, Iraq, Iran not as of yet, but it will be toppled as well, all over getting the oil and controlling the global markets. Uh, so this is what's happened to Venezuela. This is what caused the collapse of the economy in this country is something that was forced upon them uh, thanks to the good old U.S. of A. And uh, I, I really hate to see that. And, you know, it's kind of interesting because even Florida's uh, uh, Marco Rubio is stated here, here's why Trump cares about Venezuela. That's a joke in itself. President Trump does not care about Venezuela. They only care about making sure that they have the right government in. And some people would say, well, Maduro, he's some kind of evil guy. Well, maybe he is, but I can certainly see the man trying to fight for his life when he sees uh, imperialistic nations trying to crush him down and crush his own people. And that's the only reason why the people are rallying around uh, Guado is because they have been crushed economically economically and they want a reprieve they have no the people in Venezuela have no idea that they have been uh, cheated by the American people and of course Guado is nothing but an American educated Jesuit puppet being placed into the into power but Marco Rubio says here mass migration is, is destabilizing Colombia a key anti-drug partner Right, that's sure, Marco. They're the anti-drug partner. No, I think maybe what it is, Maduro probably just as sinister as some of you American politicians who get the money, get your little kickbacks on your uh, bribes and stuff uh, as you traffic the drugs in from Colombia and other uh, Central American countries and, and, and put it on the, uh, the poor American people 
and get them addicted to these drugs and get all your billions of dollars to be able to fund your little overthrow campaigns all over the world. I know very much about that. Spent seven years, so I know exactly how the game works and who gets...